Today's horror manga dub narration is Hallucinations by Junji Ito. I hope you all enjoy. Our story begins with a young school student named Oshikuri. He's standing in an alley with a shovel in hand. As I thought, I need to rebury him much deeper. Sleep deep within the earth, Nakajima. Ugh. I killed my best friend, Nakajima, last night. The reason was stupid. It was because he grew taller. His height surpassed mine and he kept becoming taller. You were so cool, Nakajima. <clears throat> you saw that I hadn't grown and tried to console me. Even though just a while ago, you were short like me. He say, as his dear friend lay buried in a hole, his face almost completely covered. As I thought, th this is too shallow, S so in reality, I did kill you. I it wasn't a dream, the evidence, Nakajima's corpse is right here. <clears throat> I didn't intend to kill you, it's just that it felt like you pitied me, it was tough. <clears throat> Sorry, did it hurt? <sighs> the boy sat there staring, and then he continued to dig with his hands. But what he saw was truly horrific. His friend's neck was elongated like a giraffe, and Oshikuri could only look with a nervous sweat. Ooh, what? Is this? <sighs> what was that last night? I covered the body with dirt in the garden without thinking, but my head is shrouded in chaos. Was that real? There's no way it was real. I've never heard of a corpse's neck stretching. Besides, the length was not normal. In other words, it's impossible. I saw an illusion because I was too worked up. I was in a state that made me hallucinate. I'll check it out tonight. Oh, Shikiri! Whoa! Uh, oh, it's just you, Hota. You surprised me. Don't be so surprised. More importantly, oh, Shikiri. It's terrible. Nakajima has gone missing. Last night, I got a call from Nakajima's mother. Huh? Uh, uh, our house got one too. Uh, a phone call. I'm worried. Could he have gotten himself in an accident? No way. Nakajima's mother called Hota. Hey, Osikiri, is anything coming to your mind? Nothing. That just means she was that close to Nakajima. Of course, since he passed 180 centimeters, he's gotten popular. That Nakajima. He's been my best friend since elementary school. We were both short. Our seats were always in the front. We were bullied a lot by the bigger guys, but we defended each other. We proceeded to go to the same high school, but around that time, he started rapidly growing taller. It's weird how when he grew taller, his attitude became bolder. If Hota, who's been our friend for a long time, fell for Nakajima, there's nothing I could do. Besides, my feelings for Hota... Nakajima, you really had a rapid growth spurt. A year ago, you were about the same height as me. Yeah, I even find it unsettling. I grew 20 centimeters in one year. 
Can you believe that ridiculous speed? But that was when they noticed me. Hey, Oshikiri, you were here. No, I was just passing by. See ya, I've got something to do. You'll grow soon too, I'm sure. Yeah. Stop that terrible attempt to comfort me. Hey, Oshikuri! Yes? Weren't you listening? Nakajima has been missing since Saturday. You guys were close. Do you know anything? No. Later that day, Hota followed me out of class. Oh, Shikiri, do you have a moment? What is it, Hota? She looked at me with a stern face. Oh, Shikiri, your best friend is missing, and you don't seem to be worried at all. That's not true. But you guys have such a close relationship and strong friendship. Sometimes I was jealous of your relationship, but I admired that kind of friendship. That's why I can only see your attitude right now is strange. But even if you say he's missing, there's a lot of possible situations. He could have left on a journey alone. We can't be certain that he's dead. Don't say something like that! Uh, it's just a possibility. Really? Do you really not know? I don't know. I didn't see him Saturday. You're lying. Uh, uh, I saw Nakajima enter your house Saturday evening. Uh, that was Takeyuki. He's my cousin. He's a college student and he comes over every Saturday to tutor me. It was dark out, so you were probably mistaken. I really don't know about Nakajima. B please, believe me. But in that moment, something crazy happened. Hoda's neck began to stretch. H Hoda! And she looked at him with a menacing glare. Oh, she carried. Ugh! Stay away! Don't come any closer! Ugh! What is this thing? Hey, stop that! Y you bastard! What are you doing? Let go of me! She's a, a ghost! Look at her neck! What are you daydreaming about? Uh, are you okay? No! What I'm saying is true! Her neck, it's stretched! This is so strange! Go get a teacher! Please! Believe me! Oshikuri. Oshikuri sat there, staring blankly at the teacher. Why did you do such a thing? You're usually so well behaved. I can't believe that you would injure a girl. I'm sorry. There's no way they'd believe me. But I really did see that. No. Maybe it was a hallucination. Yesterday's corpse. And today, Hota. Both occurred during the time when my heart was agitated. Akiyuki said that it's easy to see hallucinations during such times. Oshikuri! Oshikuri! What are you spacing out for? Are you listening to me, boy? Uh, uh. Just a bit. <laughs> His neck had completely elongated just like the other two. But to make matters worse, when he looked behind him, that's impossible. Well, Oshikiri, what happened to your neck? Really, what happened? Why is it so short? Oshikuri, someone like you will be fixed by me. Uh, let go! <sighs> Hey, look, 
Whoa, what is that? His neck is so short. It's a monster. It's a hallucination. They're all hallucinations. The poor boy said as he trembled underneath his blanket. Of course, Nakajima's corpse was too. He slowly got out of bed, walking toward his curtains. But I can't very well go back and confirm it. Slowly sliding them open, and what he saw was Nakajima. His rotten, decrepit corpse now out of the ground, and his elongated neck moving toward Oshikuri's window. It slowly turned back around, looking straight into his eyes. Oshikuri, it's okay to go into your club room. Right? No, you can't. I, I, I wonder if I'm going insane. He turned back around and opened the window, but nothing was there. I ran into the streets at night. Even if I knew it was an illusion, it felt like Nakajima was going to enter the club room, so I couldn't stay there any longer. Tonight, I'll stay at Takayuki's house. <sighs> I let myself inside and told Takayuki the story. I see, even if it is a hallucination. It's rare for necks to stretch. Maybe I've gone crazy. You're not an alcoholic, and you're not on drugs, and if you're sleeping properly... No, I'm studying psychology in college, so I know there's an explanation. This probably stems from your sense of isolation in your complex. My sense of isolation in my complex? Your parents are overseas for work. You're living alone in that huge mansion. This feeling of loneliness and your distress over your height. These psychological conditions all piled up so you saw hallucinations of others' height stretching. Although it's weird that it's just the neck. Neck? Huh? He recalled that vivid memory of when he strangled Nakajima. Toru, why don't you stay at this house until your parents return to Japan? <sighs> Our dad is always saying you should. Well, it depends on your decision. Ugh! Why is the ceiling so low? T -t Takayuki! Right now, I'm seeing a hallucination. What? Does my neck look long to you too? Cut it out. Hey, Toru, what's wrong? <sighs> the way to resolve these hallucinations is to check Nakajima's body. Everything started on that night. That was a visual hallucination. <sighs> I just have to confirm that it really was just a normal corpse. As long as I have any possibility of doubt, I'll continue to see these hallucinations. <sighs> I arrived at that alleyway. But what I saw, I couldn't believe my very eyes. The neck had emerged from the ground and broken into my club room. Then... It turned toward me. So, this is where you were. Nakajima, please, forgive me. Oh, Shikuri, I wonder what happened. I don't know why, but I've become this form. Can you believe it? This happened in just two days. 
I wonder if it's because you strangled me. <laughs> it seems like after that, I lost my sanity. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. Soon, a detective came. I confessed everything. The detective listened with suspicion on his face, but that's not unreasonable. The hallucinations didn't matter, because I'm the criminal who murdered Nakajima, and only that is the reality. Soon, the garden will be dug up, and the corpse will be properly buried. With this, I'll be released from the illusions. What should we do? Even if you ask that, it's really become like this. So there's nothing we can do. It seems that boy only saw the neck. It was only the tip of the iceberg. The two of them looked at one another and then they continued to speak. Is this kind of thing possible? It's a present day mystery. But what's the cause? This wouldn't even fit in a tanker. Just how many meters is this? The head is buried under the wall. What should we do? Maybe it still intends to grow. Hey everyone! Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, Ace Anonymous, and Ali Way. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.